coming up in Ms. Tastic. membership that you can stream on any device, anywhere, anytime, hundreds of different art lessons directly to your home. Perfect for families and classrooms. Hi there, I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're learning all about outer space and planets. We're going to be diving in on some of the planets in our own solar system and we are a part of the Milky Way galaxy. Did you know that the Earth is the third planet from the Sun? Our Sun is actually a huge star. It is. It's a giant star that's actually really, really close to us. And it's so close that we can, well not super close, but it's close enough that we can feel its warmth. It's actually really, 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 really big and you can fit a lot of Earths into the sun, that's how big the sun is. So much bigger than our planet. It's amazing. Now, did you know that some of the stars that you see when you look up in the sky are no longer there? The, the space, the universe, so space is so big that some of the light that we see of stars way up in outer space is light from a star that no longer exists. It actually takes millions or even billions of years for light to travel from so far away to reach our eyes. That means that some of those supernovas that we might be seeing up in the sky that are flashing, we might only be seeing the light now, but that might light, might that occurrence, that supernova might have happened millions of years ago. It just takes that long for light to travel at light speed to get us and make it to our eyes. So by the time we're looking up at that supernova, that star has probably been gone for thousands, millions, maybe even billions of years. Now let's take a look at this planets and our star in our solar system. All right, so we have our solar system. Of course, we start off with that very, very, very large ball of fire, which is our star, Sol, which is our sun. You can see that it is much larger than all the planets. It's huge. However, some planets don't feel the warmth from that sun as much as we do because they're much farther away. So in order, we have Mercury, that's the planet closest to our sun, then Venus, then we're the third planet from that sun, so we are Earth. Next is Mars, it's our neighbor on the other side. Then there is Jupiter, then Saturn with the lovely rings, Uranus, and finally Neptune. Now let's head on over to the art studio where we're going to draw a cute little Saturn and make some planet paintings. See you there. Okay. We're gonna draw a cute Saturn. Big oval. Or like a letter C almost. It's like a letter C that's on its side. And then we'll draw another one. And we'll draw a hemisphere. And then continue it below. We're gonna draw a circle on either side with a smaller circle on the inside. And then color in the dark of the eyes, leaving those small circles white. Line between. Connect it with the U shape. One line down to the other. Oh, 
gonna add some lines across for some variety. Color in the tongue. How cute is this planet? Color it in using choice mediums and colors. Take brown and just add some variety of lines. And just like that, our cute planet is done. Let's make our planet. Grab our let's do let's do purple. You grab purple. I'm gonna start off with a nice big circle with some smaller circles around for some stars later. I'm just using wax crayon. Then we're gonna add some wavy lines for the different colors or some curving lines to make the different textures of your planet. I'm gonna grab a white wax crayon and color in the stars with your wax crayon, white wax crayon or yellow. White or yellow? Okay, next we're going to paint the planet. You can pick your own choice of colors and you're gonna paint each stripe. Each stripe with different colors. Now I'm not even gonna rinse my brush. That way I pick up other colors from the other paint used before. So I can see there's my orange mixing with my purple in here and I think that helps, makes us some really unique and cool colors. And it also allows it to blend together a little bit more nicely. And then you can also take your colors and add different dots, layering them here and there. Okay, now we got a cool looking planet. Planet. So we're gonna dip or rinse our brush, dip it in black. We're gonna paint over our background. If you lose your stars, don't worry. We'll just add yellow or white paint on top.
Okay, then I'm gonna fix my stars. I'm gonna grab some white. Just like that, your planet is done. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and take me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic kids online membership so you can make art anywhere anytime on any device using some really fun art mediums see you in the next episode